come in. You're now rocking with the greatest. Reacting to the old and reacting to the latest. Every single genre that's Birdman's taste. Everybody's welcome here in Birdman's place. Who was shaking back? Birdman here. Welcome to my place. As always, thank you for stopping on in. Ladies and gentlemen, you have tuned in to yet another reaction slash review video. And we're gonna dig right in, but first things first, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Follow me on twitch.com slash birdman's place for all of my live streams. They're the lifeblood of this channel. They're a marathon and we have a blast. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and relax. Take your shoes off, kick your feet up and enjoy cause we gonna have some fun today. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited because one of my Patreon subscribers, one of my premium flocksters, one of my day ones, Kayla, has made her monthly customized personalized request for the month of February. And it is a song that I'm a big fan of, but I have not heard it in such a long time and I don't know that I've even seen the video before. This is Steve Warner and Anita Cochran and the song is called What If I Said. Now, this is a special tribute, actually. And she said, this is for somebody who also watches my channel. And this is for you from her. And she said that you will understand it. You'll understand the significance. So that's as far as I'm going. We're going to end it there. But ladies and gentlemen, at this point, there's really only one thing left to do. Freddy, I'm gonna need them headphones, bud. I'm sorry. This ain't Freddy's place. This is Birdman's place. Ha! Let's get it. Ooh, I love those keys to start this song. I haven't heard this song in a long time. And now that I'm watching this, I really don't think I've seen the video. Beautiful song. Amazing voices by both of them. You tell me your secrets and I tell you mine. Underrated vocalist right there, Anita She's Cochran. Left you all alone and you feel like no one cares. But I've never failed you. I've always been there. Here he comes. You tell your story. Mm. It sounds Steve a Warner. Like mine. One of the greatest Voices in country it's music history. Period. It happens every time. And y'all, this song is so beautiful. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song about a friendship where they just want to push it to that next level, but they don't know what to say. They're terrified of what's going to happen when they say that. And I think we've all been in that boat. Um, hell, I was in that boat with my current wife. You just, you're, you're terrified of rejection or if not rejection, you're terrified of losing that friendship that you had. You don't know what to do, but, uh, this is an absolutely amazing way of putting it and uh, a perfect tribute, you know, a perfect way you know, when you were in high school, and this song, I, I, I don't remember when this song comes out, but for some reason, I feel like I was in high school. This would be that song, because, you know, so many kids, to tell that, tell them how you feel, tell someone how you feel, you'd send them a song or something like that. This would be a perfect song for this, to take that, try to take that next step. But anyway, let's keep rolling. Can't we see? Ooh. Oh, maybe you. Is what's meant to be, but do we disagree? What if I told you? What if I said that I love you? Oh, that voice! How would you feel? That harmony on this song. Be? What would we do? Do we dare to cross that line? Do we dare to cross we that line? Never end. Ooh, what if I 
And that is the hard part. You got to find that line. You got to find what's, what is, where, where is that importance to you? Do you feel that that love that you could have with this person is more important and could be much bigger than the friendship you currently have with them? Is it worth that risk to you? Where do you stand on that? That's where you got to figure it out. You got to figure out if that love that you could have with that person is bigger and stronger than the friendship you have with them. And that's where that's where the decision comes into play if you take that step and you do that. And I had to do it. And now here I am. You know, 12 years later, with a four year with a five year old little girl. I mean, it, great decision. I made the right decision. And I even told her how I felt when she had a boyfriend. I mean, it is what it is. I couldn't hold it anymore. Let's go. God, I love her voice so much. I wish I knew what happened to her. Right here, I love this part. The power in both of their voices right here in this harmony. Fear of rejection. That's the fear. That's where it is right there. What do you do? How, what would, what would happen? And that's where it comes in. What would happen? The fear of losing that person in your life as a friend, if that risk happened and they weren't on the same wavelength as you. You never know. You never know. Always wondered. What if I say? What if I say? What if I say? Wow. So beautiful. Such an amazing song. Like, I miss powerful songs like this. You don't get a whole lot of these. Every now and then you'll get them. You know, and th they still exist out there if you find the right artists. Uh, but such a powerful, powerful, powerful song by ama two amazing vocalists. That's the thing about a lot of country today. The, the I, I don't want to say a lot of country because there are people out there 
that have those vocals, that have those powerful voices. They're just not played on the radio a whole lot. You know, guys, so many people out there, Cody Johnson's, your Randall Kings, that have those powerful voices that just don't get played a lot. But I really miss when everybody was that good. There were so many powerful, strong voices and strong country songs in the 90s. And I just miss that. Nowadays, I mean, you can you can become a popular country artist by being trendy. Just doing something trendy on TikTok. You don't even have to have a good voice. Now, I'm not saying that some of those people on TikTok don't have good voices. Some of them are phenomenal. But you don't have to have a voice to be popular. That's the sad part of all of it. Just saying. My opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Follow me on social media. My links are right down here. If you'd like to be a member of the flock on Patreon, get some exclusive content, videos you won't see on the channel, videos YouTube doesn't want you to see that they block. Those are on there. You can get early access to my videos. You can get your request shot at the list faster. You can get 10% off of merchandise. You can be there for Turn It Up Tuesdays. We have a lot of fun. Movie nights, comedy nights, wrestling nights, video Q&As with artists, video Q&As with other YouTubers. It's an absolute blast. Don't miss it. Come check it out. Come be a part of it. Information up here. Link in the description below. Like, share, subscribe. Pass me around. Let's grow the Birdman fam. Birdman fam flock. Love you guys. Mean it. I'm going to see you on the next one. All right. Much love. Peace. Oh, I shake it back. Birdman here. If you like this video, go ahead and become a member of the Birdman fam by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell. Also, make sure to watch the videos on this screen as well as the playlist I put together. You can also become a member of the flock. Get some behind the scenes fun, early access, and your request shot at the list faster. Check that out as well. Birdman fam flock, I love you guys. I'm going to see you all in the next one. Much love. Peace.